Sydney Island says her 16-year-old son is up to date on the standard immunizations required to attend school in Indiana, but she says he was concerned about getting vaccinated against COVID-19. My son wasn't vaccinated and wanted to get vaccinated and it was my day off, so we can't convenience, really. Her son, Rashawn Edmondson, will be a junior at Harrison High School. He runs track and plays football and basketball. He sees the COVID-19 vaccine as a move toward life before COVID. I just think it's convenient and so I don't really have to wear a mask. The Tippecanoe and Lafayette School Corporations will not require masks inside schools when classes start, but Melissa Prochnow is glad masks will be mandated when her 14-year-old and 11-year-old children return to school in West Lafayette. I think it's the only preventative measure we have for kids that are under the age of 12 right now at school. Um, schools don't have the capacity to social distance in the way that would help prevent the spread. So the only thing that they really do offer is mass protection at this point. With the highly transmissible Delta variant of COVID-19 on the rise, both Procknow and Islands are counting on others to get vaccinated against the virus. Get vaccinated, it'll save your life. Most of the new cases you see it on the news, I see it in real life. I work in the hospital and you know, all, all the cases we're getting are people that aren't vaccinated. 99% of the people in the hospital aren't vaccinated. I don't know what other kind of evidence you need. The County Health Department will continue to administer COVID-19 vaccinations to those who are eligible here at 2577 Maple Point Drive in Lafayette. Also, the department will hold another back to school vaccine clinic on Tuesday, August 3rd. Chris Morrissey, Vita Star City News, Tippecanoe County.